The top tier athletes thrive under pressure. When it all comes down to one single event to decide the championship, this is when they are in their element. And there is no higher level of competition than what we see here at the Marble League. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. I hope you are all huddled around your screens just like we are all huddled nice and cozy here in Super Hive Stadium, ready for the Honey Dome Grand Prix. This is event 16 in what has been a tumultuous championship hunt for many teams, they have been eliminated. However, there are just a few that remain. Five teams can win the championship. The Savage Speeders lead the way over the Bumblebees, the Pinkies, the Crazy Cat's Eyes, and the Rojo Rollers. Here are the standings. While those are only eligible for the championship that are not in yellow, there are quite a few other teams that can still reach the podium. Yes, they may need some help to do so, but there is still so much pride on the line for these teams that have worked sometimes for their entire lives to get to this moment. Ninth on down, they cannot reach the podium. Everybody else, hope springs eternal. The Honey Dome Grand Prix, they are in the starting blocks, different than Marbula One in that, so as not to overload this event in terms of importance and the sand event that preceded it, no extra point for pole and fastest lap. There you see all of those in the lineup. Captains, reserves, team members who are carefully chosen for their prowess at this discipline. And we're rolling. Red Eye on pole, but has lost two, now three positions heading into turn one. Pinkies, Midnight Wisps, they get by. Here they come fighting back. No, Crazy Cat's Eyes can't get up there. Red Eye shouldered out onto the curbs and is trying to play catch up here. Losing even more positions and also fighting in their snowballs. They fall backward, but it's Pinkies who are out in front as they come through the honeycomb for the first time. Great exit by Red Eye, only to hit the curb and give up P1 to the snowballs. We'll talk about championship permutations as we go along through this, but it's two hundredths of a second between Snowballs and Crazy Cat's Eyes in what is scheduled to be a 13-lap race. Crazy Cat's Eyes, they need some help, and they need to win this race if they hope to have a shot at the championship. Bumblebees are up there, however, and now they lose a bunch of positions. Is that Midnight Wisps that just headed up to the top spot? Yes, it is. The Wisps through the honeycomb here, and there goes Bumble. The captain of the Bumblebees appropriately handling that section very well. Trying to catch the draft as they go down that backstretch and up the elevator. Crazy Cat's Eyes back in third. Team Plasma, Pinkies, they're also fighting for the championship. Back by Team Galactic, Thunderbolts, Snowball, Shining Swarm, or Rangers, Rojo Rollers who basically need to win or that's it. Raspberry Racers, Gliding Glaciers. Team Momo, Savage Speeders, our championship leaders second to last right now by Mellow Yellow. Up front, a slow pace being set, and Bumble has had enough of it. Wants to dictate the pace and try to bring this one home for the Bumblebees. They definitely need some help in this one as they lead by just under one second here. If they win, they need the speeders to get sixth or lower. That is currently happening. They need the Pinkies to get lower than second. That is currently happening. Wisps now in second place, trying to keep the Pinkies back behind. The Pinkies, they need to win, and then need Savage Speeders down there as well. There goes Midnight Wisp back up in front, as we are now on lap four. Savage Speeders have fallen to dead last. The championship may be slipping away from them. They can finish in last, but they need some help from some of the other teams. Speedy, once won here at the Honey Dome. Cannot count that marble out, even though the laps are ticking away. Midnight Wisps up at the front with Wispy leading the field over Bumble. Then it's Team Galactic with Starry, who also does very well in Marbula One. The top three, the top four have all tightened up as they come to the line. Bumble goes to the inside, but can't make the move. They'll be side by side, Midnight Wisps and Bumblebees. And Wispy gets by. Nice double move there by Crazy Cat's Eyes to take second place as they come through the bee dance. This waggle portion really stratifies the marbles. It's a technical section, and you can see Bumble is used to it. 
using that home track advantage. Through the honeycomb, Wispy can't stay off of the walls. Does that help Bumble to close that gap? Just a few lengths between them. So we take a look at the rest of the field, some hitting hard against that wall. Savage speeders remain in dead last, but this is a great battle up front. Midnight Wisps and the Bumblebees. Red Eye is also up there for Crazy Cat Size, waiting opportunistically to make a move if anything goes wrong. Pinkies are also up there. They know that their Marble League hopes have to start swinging in the right direction soon. We are on lap seven, now halfway through this Grand Prix. The final event in the Marble League, four minutes in. Savage Speeders remain second to last. Bumblebees, they take the lead over the Midnight Wisp. Crazy Cat Size get by into second place. You briefly saw it flash through your screen right there. And there we see Red Eye continuing to march forward. Crazy Cat Size must get first or second in this race if they hope to win. Bumblebees, who they are chasing, they have to get top three, but they need some help. Mellow Yellow was briefly fighting up there as well. Look at this gap. Bumblebees have a second and a half over Crazy Cat Size, just a few laps remaining. They would need the Crazy Cat Size to finish second or lower, I believe. We'll wait for the official timing and scoring results. Down they come and we're almost getting into desperation time for the likes of the Pinkies. Savage Speeders have only gained one spot. Bumble got a silver earlier in these games in the five meter sprint. In the Honey Dome, his best is second place. And now, chasing the gold here. There you see the live standings. Pertinent, indeed. Bumblebees currently would win the championship. Savage Speeders would finish seven points back, two ahead of Crazy Cat Size. That is even with the Savage Speeders running so low in the standings right now. They sit 14th out of 16. Contact right there. You saw the Midnight Wisps. They are slipping backward, battling with the Pinkies. Rojo Rollers are also in there. Remember, I said they basically need to win the championship, and then they need Savage Speeders to get lower than 12th. Well, that second part is happening, but not the first, and that is the most important. Bumble's lead has come down up front. Crazy Cat Size Red Eye is holding in second place. Pinkies back there in third with Pinky Panther. Wispy for the Midnight Wisps. Oh, here we go. Pinky Panther trying to make a move on Red Eye. Can't get that one done. These are both champions in their own right. There's a lot on the line, of course. Even if you don't win this Marble League, there's auto qualifying chances. There's where you shake out for other events that determine whether you will qualify for the Marble League. Crazy Cat Size, two seconds back right now. Pinkies, two and a half. Midnight Wisp, Rojo Rollers come next. Mellow Yellow, Team Galactic, Shining Swarm. Gliding Glaciers, Team Momo, Savage Speeders have gained a couple. And the Thunderbolts get by as I say that. Snowballs, Raspberry Racers, or Rangers, and Team Plasma rounding out the field with just two laps to go. Here's the lead. The battle for it has come down as Red Eye is hounding Bumble through the honeycomb. But the home turf is defended nicely. Bumblebees trying to bring home a championship in front of their home fans, hosting the Marble League. It's never been done. Red Eye with a nice head of steam here on lap 13, the final lap. Red Eye tries to make the move to the B dance, goes outside, but is sealed off. We'll have more opportunities. Bumble fighting like crazy, but Red Eye gets it done. Crazy Cat's Eyes have taken the lead and put themselves into prime position to win the championship. Does Bumble have anything left in the tank? Red Eye onto the straightaway. They've fallen back from first to 11th in the standings, and now Crazy Cat's Eyes have clawed their way back to become Marble League champions. What an effort by Red Eye. And what an effort from the Crazy Cat's Eyes as a whole. They have been one of those teams that I mentioned at the beginning who 
bounded their way up and down the standings. They started so well and then began to slide backwards. They won the Honeycomb team pursuit. They got bronze in the steeplechase. And then things started to turn. They went downhill. They had a brief resurgence at tug of war in event number six and then disappeared from the podium all the way until event 14 when they got bronze in the G-Force Endurance. From there, it has been consistency. They won the Sand Rally with Red Eye and that earned pole position here, but that didn't necessarily help that marble because Red Eye was trailing for most of this race and here, the definitive battle that started it all. Back and forth they went and here is the championship winning move Oh, that was a sellout, acting like Red Eye was going to go to the outside. Bumble moved to defend, and then shot at the apex. Red Eye takes the lead and would hold it all the way across the line. By the way, if you enjoyed this, check out some of our Patreon content and so much more on our online store, and of course, the rest of the YouTube channel. The Crazy Cat's Eyes, they get gold in this event, and they will claim the championship in Marble League 23. The Red Eye did so much work over the course of this 16 event drag out fight. In the hunt for most valuable marble for sure. And once again, they are standing on the top step of the podium Bumblebees get second place, one step behind. And they, oh, by a single point, finish second in the overall standing. Still a tremendous effort by the Bumblebees. Their fans are so proud of them. Savage Speeders drop down two spots in that one event. Very uncharacteristic for them. They're still happy to get third, but wow. So many twists and turns that this Marble League has taken, and we are thrilled that you have been here with us this entire time. Ready for the closing ceremony? Thank you so much for watching. I'm Greg Woods. So long, everyone.